Chattanooga firefighter investigators say kitchen blazes are on the rise and not every homeowner knows how to respond. Good evening, I'm Calvin Sneed. And I'm Kim Chapman. This is a preventable move leading to many fires in our area, leaving cooking food unattended on the stove. Makaya Thurmond is finding out what you should do if your stovetop goes up in smoke. Makaya. Kim, Calvin, I got a first-hand look at kitchen fires this afternoon, thanks to some professional firefighters. I found out you shouldn't always follow your first instinct when it comes to putting a blaze out that may be on your burner. Blazes like this leave homes burnt to ashes like this. And firefighters say these two recent fires in Chattanooga started the same way. Number one reason is unattended cooking. People walking away from their stovetop and leaving pots and pans or what have you, leaving, up, leaving them on top of the stove. And as the heat generates, it catches fire. I caught up with the fire prevention team to find out how you should react if flames break out in your kitchen. What we're going to attempt to do is show you what happens on the stovetop fire when you leave oil unattended and it catches fire. With their tips and supervision, we asked the team to show us how to handle the flames in the moment. The first thing to do is to remove the pot from the stovetop, just removing it off the hot eye, and then covering it with either a lid or a baking sheet or something that way. Like some way to smother that fire out and turn, of course, turn the heat off of the eye. If you think water will help, you couldn't be more wrong. I think uh, water is going to put the fire out and all that does on a grease fire is spread it. And no matter what you do, don't move that pan off the stove. Most people want to get the fire and, and try to take it to the sink. That is the worst thing you could do because as you're walking with that flaming pot, the flames are blowing back on you. So that's how people get burns on their arms and their face. And of course, it's a good time to brush up on your knowledge of kitchen fires. February is Cooking Safety Awareness Month.